Hello Motor Rider World fans, Rob Portman here from a somewhat sunny, a little bit cloudy uh, England here at Verwood at Crescent Motorcycles. Now Crescent, for those of you who don't know, this is their race department here, is synonymous here in um, in British racing. So a lot of people remember the likes of John Reynolds, Shaky Byrne, Cal Crutchlow, Tom Sykes, even back in the day on those Rizzler Suzuki's in British Superbikes uh, from all those years gone by. And now they are the the operation behind the official World Superbike Yamaha team, of course, with their rider, top rack race, Gary Oglu and uh, Locatelli. So I've come out here because there is an official meet and greet with the 2021 World Superbike Champion that's going to take place in there. So let me take you in and have a look at one of the most iconic motorcycle dealerships probably in the world. I mean, for this motorcycle dealership to run a World Superbike operation, world champions at it, and all that racing heritage that they've got from all those years gone by, out of this uh, dealership in this tiny little town of Verwood. It's quite a little drive from where I was in London based to here. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Let's take you inside and have a look what's going on here today. So walking into the dealership, as you can see, got all the Yamaha motorcycles, new and used. There's a bike, limited edition XSR LC 900, 15,000 pounds just about. Signed by Mr. Kenny Roberts, that's pretty cool. Carbon fiber R1M there. Take a walk through. This is pretty cool. The man that they're talking to on stage right now is James Hillier. There he is. And this is the bike from the TT that he just rode. As you can see, still got all the bug splatter and that from the TT race. So that is a bike prepped here at Crescent Yamaha as well. There's all his gear, Makov in the house. And there's his daily easy leathers. So that's something really, really cool. Here's something that's... Uh, this is a unique ball. This is a TZR6. And there's all the extras that are included. It's 20,995 pounds, so 16 gazillion rand. But that looks, that looks pretty decent. That looks really cool. It's an R6. TZR6. So nice tricked out R6 there. That's, that's really cool. like the look of that in the old school Yamaha racing colors. But then, as you can see, speaking on stage at the moment, taking everyone through a lap around the TT. Really steep, nice there off the there. The So this is the back of the dealership. As you can see, the World Superbike truck there, and I think that probably is their race department for the Yamaha. And then a big drive was a Yamaha demo day. So apart from having having James Hillier, the TT star, and Mr. Top Rack Race Getty Ugly World Superbike star and World Superbike champion here, was to get bums in the seats of all these Yamahas. So they had the full range of Yamaha motorcycles available. You could sign up, go for a demo ride, and then they've got some awesome prizes available. So yeah, the full range here, including the Tracer 7. Very, very nice. Of course, the R1, that top rack, won the World Superbike Championship on last year. Some nice uh, scooters. Tracer 9 GT, we had that featured in the latest issue of MRW, and then of course the new R7 as well, which we've also just had featured and tested for the first time in the latest issue of MRW's digital magazine. So yeah, this is the back, and then if we take a walk in here, this is where it's all happening, but just show you what's going on here. A nice little workshop going on here. Nice bit of eye candy there, which is one of Top Rack's bikes. That looks really, really cool. We'll get closer to that just now. And then they've got another R1 race bike ready to be prepped here. That looks really mint and it's carbon fiber and everything. So loving that. And then we walk through here. And this is where all the magic is happening at the moment with James Hillier on stage.
boys with me, it was especially with me last week when we were racing there. They put me in So what's your plan? You want to sing a song or do a dance? Or do a song? Um, so Top Break is here uh, for the weekend and um, it's very confidential because it's uh, factory Yamaha information and it's a very private test so I won't share with you the Top Rack's off to uh, Barcelona on Sunday night to test the Grand Prix bike on Tuesday. Um, so it's, a, it's an Aragon circuit, it's fully locked up so if you want to head down to Aragon and uh, jump over the fence or whatever, then you can see him riding the M1 on Tuesday. So maybe that's the first question. Are you, uh, first of all, welcome and are you looking forward to riding the GP bike Tuesday? First I say, welcome everybody. Um, yeah, I ride the GP bike, but uh, I'm not feeling stressed, not too nervous because, uh, you know, I'm focused on my uh, season. Important for me in my season. But uh, anyway, I ride the GP bike, but so yes, Top Rack Raz Gadioglu is in the house here at Crescent Yamaha in Verwood. Have a look at his suit and his helmet. Love that helmet. Yeah, that would look so good in our bar. Eh? That'll look good in any man cave, that's for sure. And then some Yamaha R candy there. Of course, um, Locatelli. The other teammate but this is top rack spikes obviously from the last couple of years and these i'm led to believe are actual race replicas that have been built for customers so obviously crescent have a race division a genuine yamaha race division that they build up these specific bikes for customers so world super bikes big bikes for customers uh, as you can see, there is the name tag from the one lucky customer that's had his top rack replica done up. Danka Jamal, there we go. And then there is the man himself. So how's this for a bit of eye candy upstairs in the accessories department by the cafe? There's the cafe. A Rizzo Suzuki John Hopkins Motor GP bike. Just standing here as you do at a bike shop in the UK. So that is something really, really special to look at. Absolutely love that. That's one of the best looking Motor GP bikes for me. Still got the Bridgestone tires fitted and that beautiful under exhaust tailpiece. And then right next to it, we have Loris Cow. How is that? That is just, that is just bike porn of note. Those two pipes coming out of that Ducati there. That is a Loris Capo Rossi Desmo MotoGP bike. Oh man, that is just, I'm like a kid in a candy store here. There's no doubt about it. This is me all day. I'm glad did the hundred and odd mile trip to get here absolutely beautiful that and right next to it is this special yamaha r1 build by crescent yamaha see it's got monster energy and that all over it's got a number 44 on there and this is why because it was the bike ridden by lewis hamilton so this was the bike that they built for lewis hamilton to ride a couple of years with valentino rossi at um at valencia there's paul denning the man behind the world superbike yamaha team and crescent Yamaha 
And uh, yeah, some nice eye candy to see upstairs here. Hello, motor rider work fans. Thanks for support.